Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Grinner Key. Back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. We're back here at Wola Zabakowski, Zazarlalalskowski, whatever, how you say it. And, um, yeah. So, been emptying the silo here. This is the south farm. You can see I'm kind of flashing down here. Well, no, you can't really see it there. Uh, I am down here, uh, close to the gas station. Uh, this is one of our other homesteads, I guess you could say. Air quote, homestead. Um, and that's the house. This is the house, y'all. It's like really old, cinder blocky. Uh, got a really nice door on it, though. I would say that's a nice door. But anyway, got uh, silos and stuff over here, I guess. Anyway, this is the silo. This is a weird looking silo. It's got like a blue tarp on the ground. It's kind of sketchy, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but anyway, I've been emptying the silo out. Uh, I already got, uh, where's it at? This homestead here. Already got the silo emptied out of it. We'll visit it real quick here just to show you. Um, see what I'm saying? They got nice doors here. Look at that. Look at that design. Nice design on that door. But that's one of the houses. Um, a lot of old buildings here. Um, and this is... Where is it at? Where's the, here's the, here's the, this, is, this is the silo. Now this... I gotta give a shout out. Ban Ban. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the, uh, the Puma Plow community. Uh, Heather. Uh, they call her Ban Ban. I really was like, what? The silo is named Ban Ban. That's just, I mean, I'm sure it's probably German or Polish or something for something else. Maybe it means store. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Ban Ban. Yeah, I was shocked to see that. So, Heather, I know you probably don't watch my videos, but Ban Ban. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, got a lot of stuff out here. Got a lot of animal paddocks. I think what I'm going to do, uh, and this is actually like a little silo thing here that you could do with the tires on the side, I think. I think what I'm going to do is sell some stuff. Uh, we'll head back down here first. Can't enter my weight. I can enter my tractor though. Alright. And it's already shut off, of course. But anyway, I think I'm going to sell some stuff. Now that I have these emptied, I have everything up there at the uh, the central farm in the silo up there. All of the grain that I have up there is up there. Um, I'm watching that soybean price. I think as soon as that peaks out, I'm going to sell some soybeans maybe. Um, corn I, can, I may actually go ahead and sell the corn at 802 that's not a bad price uh, but anyway we're gonna sell some of these buildings so let's get into this menu here we'll go to garage get through our equipment um, and I think what I'm gonna do I really wanted to sell the animal I think I'm gonna hang on to the animal ones for right now but everything else will go so like this grain storage here 50,000 for that I'm gonna sell it so we'll go ahead and sell that one That'll help us out a lot, because we only had $8,000 there. Um, this silo system, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it for $40,000. I know it's the Ban Ban silo system. I know it's sad, but i got to make room. It's time to uh, to start working on this map. Really, the tires are $3,500. bucks. we will just go ahead and sell them, I guess. Uh, but yeah, $40,000, that'll help us out. We can maybe buy another fuel or something with that, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. It's been sold. And then some of these other buildings. I don't need these buildings, guys. These are just some old-looking buildings. I like that we are able to sell them. Uh, that's nice. Because most of the time, you know, when you get a map, the buildings are permanent fixtures. Uh, and you can't do anything with them. So I'm just going to sell all these buildings. We're going to put in our own custom buildings. I'm going to sell these little sheds, too. I don't need them. Don't need the, the sheds. I have not found this one. This one I've been looking for. But I did notice that there's a fence for sale. And I'm wondering if this is the fence up at the main homestead. If it is, uh, then we can um, get rid of that fence. I want to sell this house too. Where was the house at? I never saw it. Are they at the end here? Yes, they're at the end. So, okay, this one with the black roof, that's the one we're keeping. It's at the central farm. So we want to sell this one. It's gone. Um, the really expensive one, we'll go ahead and sell it, because it's at that northern homestead. I don't need it up there, I'll be honest, guys. We'll just go ahead and sell it. I, I don't need them. I don't need more than one house. And we'll sell this one. This will help us out a little bit. We'll get a little money. Money is a good thing. The trash cans, we'll keep them for 60 bucks, I guess. I don't know, we may sell them. And the kids' play set, I'm going to keep the kids' play set maybe for now. I don't know. I might end up selling those too. I know, it sounds wrong. We can sell that uh, decorative wood chip pile. I don't need any decorations for wood chips. Uh, let's go back up to the uh, the central homestead there. 
So now the animal, this is this looks a whole lot nicer. It's nice and clean out here. Uh, this road, I may make this road uh, go through here, cut these trees, and just come straight through. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But let's go home. We'll just hit up this road here. If I can make the turn. Oh, that guy just walked right into my thing. Y'all see that? He just walked right into my uh, hogger wagon. So we'll hit up this road. We'll say these are fun to drive when you go uh, in cab. So. This just goes straight north. To a point, and then it hits a field. It's a grass field, though, so that's a good thing. We should drive through it. So we got 293,000. We need to make some decisions on fields here, too, I think. Ooh, a little bumpy. A little bit of a mud hole back there, too. Let's watch out for that. So yeah, I've been interested in buying fields around this homestead to, to get started. Um, should I get into cotton, I wonder? I don't... I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided on that yet. I was looking for a cloth cotton harvester. I don't think one exists, though. So. Alright. We'll drive through this a little bit here. Now this is where the problem comes in. This fence gets in the way. Especially when I try to get in here. I think I can sell that fence though. I don't really need it, to be honest. Let's see. Go back in here. I think this is it. Yep, that was it. We got rid of the fence. Woohoo! Alright. Got rid of that thing. It was in the way. It's kind of in the way over here. So I can put another shed over here now, I think. Um, but I don't think I need it right now. I think I've got enough storage space for all of my equipment. Got it parked in here nice and neat. Um, I could use one, I guess, for my implements. But we'll get to that later. Right now, we want to... Oh, I turned my engine off. It did stay running. It stayed running that time. Alright, so I did pick up another field. Uh, I bought field... Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? 127 because uh, it's in soybeans and I got it I think let's see yeah it's fully fertilized um, and there's nothing wrong with it it doesn't need lime or plowing or anything so it's good to go I kinda wanna buy some more I'll be honest I'm trying to look to see here what all do we got 67's in soybeans it's ready to harvest it's not fertilized I'm trying to be strategical uh, 117 is ready to harvest it, and soybeans. It's a big field, too. How much is it? 82,000. That's not bad. And we've got 296, so that might be on our list. Kind of just looking around here to see what all's out there. 101 is in soybeans. It's kind of, kind of out of the way. 74. It's still growing. It's fully fertilized, though. Not bad. Look around some more here, see what's... This is where we're at at the Central Homestead. 86 is a big field. Yeah, 249,000. That would take all our money. Mm, I don't know about that one. I really like the soybean fields. Here's a really long one over here. Only 71,000. Still growing. Partially fertilized. I kind of like that long field there. It's out of the way, though. It's kind of out of the way. We may wait on that one. Um, let's see. <laughs> Most of these are out of the way. I think, I guess this is all grass right here. These two? Yeah, these two are grass fields. So, take a little zoom out here. I think the rest of them are pretty much out of the way, so... This one is actually just down across from the shop. Could eventually tie these together here. Work on this, you know, as the as the fields come along. I like 101. It's nice, good size. Um, it is fully fertilized. It doesn't need plowing or anything like that. How much is it? 74. That's not a bad price for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and get 101. Because like I said, it's in soybeans. It's not a bad price. Eventually we can tie it in with this over here, I think. Or maybe just tie it in with this once we get to this point. It's not too far out of the way. 
157. How much is that? That's a little bitty field. $18,000. That's not bad. It's ready to go. Ready to harvest. Like I said, I'm trying to be a little strategical with this. 137. It's ready to go. It's not fertilized at all. It's not a big deal, but I mean, it's the kind of a big deal. Fertilizing goes a long way. Here's one on the way down to our uh, fields here. 47. It needs lime. It's partially fertilized. Eh, I think I'll wait on that one. Let's turn that back on. So 101 is looking good. So let's get 101. So we bought 101. How much we got left? 221. Let's see, how do I... There we go. Get back over here on that page. 117. It's ready to go. It's fully fertilized. It's ready to go. So let's get 117 as well. It's in soybeans. We can go ahead and just get started on it. 82,000, yes. And I guess we'll save some of the rest of that money, maybe? Might be a good idea. We'll save a little money. I know, saving for me is rare, but... Alright, I still may sell the animal paddocks. I, I really don't get a whole lot into animals, so, f I mean, you know, just because I like the uh, the actual farming part of it. So we'll get this going. You know, if I was going to get this going, I probably should have moved my tractor out of the way and not parked it behind me. Does that road go up there? Kind of. We'll take this road. We'll just go ahead and take this up there. Come back for the combine. We'll get it started up, let it warm up. Need to let that... Uh, engine warm up a little bit before you go full force on it. So I harvested uh, sunflower out of this one that we own. Our soybeans are growing. I think they're fully fertilized now. So we'll come up here and harvest these soybeans. I should invest in a plow, but I may wait until after we sell some croppage. Because we can sell the crops and make a little more money. I would like to have a nice, good-sized plow. Alright, we'll just stop right... somewhere. I guess we can pull over... Not a lot of room to pull over here, is there? There's a little bit, but... Uh, up here, I see a good place. I see a good place to pull over. Right here. And we can just back into that road there when we need to. Alright. We'll shut that off. We'll come back, save that content. And we'll get our combine. Yeah, the engine didn't stay started. I guess it's a little too cold. Alright, we're ready to go now. I really thought about buying this cornfield, but... It's not, I don't think it's fertilized or anything. That would give us a lot of corn. I am going to have to cut these trees at some point. So. Just because we want to get, ooh, that went up another growth stage, didn't it? I think it did. 77 is the one. It needs lime, but I think it's fully fertilized after that. Yeah. Except for a little strip at the bottom, and I was like, yeah. I won't bother. I waste more fertilizer just doing that little strip at the bottom. Once I get those plowed together, it'll be okay. this over here sunflowers yeah all right the great thing about this is now that we have this field we can tie this and that little bitty one up there together so as soon as the growth matter of fact let me check that I'm, I was gonna put that on fast it is on fast okay never mind our crop destruction is on guys so we got to be careful
Hear it. They won't turn my lights on. You know, I've noticed one little thing that they could improve on somewhere down the line, you know, maybe not necessarily with uh, Farming Simulator 21, but maybe somewhere down the line. See the cord on the mic? It should swing. Like with, you know, gravity and inertia and stuff like that. See, right now it's fixed in place. I mean, it's like somebody dipped it in uh, hairspray or super glue or something to keep it still or starch, you know. It's not swinging. It should swing a little bit. Some of the some of the in in cab details, you know. Not to knock the details on this, they did a really good job on like the uh, textures, details, and stuff like that. Getting it all, I'm not missing. No, I'm not missing anything. That's good. I usually miss. I won't lie. It's it's it, it happens. So I think what I'm gonna do, with the exception of maybe that field road back there in the center of that field. Anything that's paved like this right here, I'm going to leave. Anything that's field road is fair game. I don't know. It'll just, it'll come down to, come down to the decision of, like, where does this road lead? Is this, like, a main road or something like that? Then, if it is, I might pave it. But I think this, right in here, since this field is ours, we might tie these together. We just might. Now, this is going to be tricky because this tree is here. i got to get these trees cut. And I haven't, I gotta get this other, I gotta get a bunch of videos up today. I just need to edit them and upload them. Okay, well I'm gonna hire this guy out here. Let him make a couple swoops. Swoops. That's the first. Passes. We call them passes. This is swoop. And we got a cornfield over here. These will definitely be coming together. Because look at that. That little strip right there, you couldn't even fit anything down through there. So once we get this field over here, we'll... Uh, tell you what, how much is that field? I know I said I was going to save money, but y'all know me. I can't save money. Especially in farm sim. It's 35000 for that cornfield. Well, it's not fertilized. Oh, it is. It's halfway fertilized. And it needs lime. I don't know. I may wait on that one. What else we got around here? Seventeen's really big, but it's out of the way. It's not fertilized at all, so never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's see. We still got some stuff growing down here, don't we? Yeah, we got 88... What's 87 and 89? Are they ready to go now? Those weren't ready. They just became ready. So they're ready to harvest. 87 and 89. I may wait till the other stuff is ready. Just to get down there and get some of that in, all in one. That, a lot of that needs to be plowed. So we'll plow that eventually. That's why I said I need to plow. I need to go get that other header down there too. What else we got out here? What else? What else? We need to do some shopping. What else we got? Most of these are out of the way, though. That's the problem. 57's in soybeans. Halfway fertilized. It doesn't have to be soybeans, I don't guess. Ooh, we got taters. We got taters. There's taters there. No, this is barley, isn't it? That's taters. The darker brown is... Is, uh... Potatoes. I got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, turkey, chicken, you name it. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm really ready. Thanksgiving is about my favorite time of year. I don't know. I usually say that about everything, though. Like, when we get to Halloween, I'll say that's about my favorite time of year. Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, Easter, July 4th. All of that. I'll say that's about my favorite time of year. They're all my favorite. Let's just let's just be real. They're all my favorite. I mean, you know, you get Easter, you get, you know, what jelly beans and Cadbury eggs and more Cadbury eggs. 
All right, let's grab our tractor. Where's our tractor? Let's go look at this real quick. So there is a fence here that I could sell. Probably will. And I hate to say it, guys. We may have to sell the kids' playground <laughs> and sell this little uh, bin. Then we got some liquid fur to come get. I could sell the chicken coop. If we sold all of this, the fence. Here's that little building. That's not a very big building at all. I don't think we could park anything in there, to be honest. I wonder if all of this stuff goes with it when you sell it. Hope so. I think it's just decorative anyway. But yeah, if we got rid of all of this and bought this huge canola field over here, which costs $181,000, that's a pretty penny. Um, eventually, we could plow all of this together. We're going to wait for this to pop up, though. Alright, tractor, let's go. we got to combine the empty down there. Well, he's already turning around. I have inspector mod though, so we can kind of watch there to see how full he gets. But yeah, I got to make a decision on these trees very soon. What I'm gonna do? I think I'm thinking about just doing the brooks. I haven't uh, posted the videos yet. I need to get those up to see what you guys think. Leave a comment. If you haven't already, what should I do? Should I do Brooks or should I do it old school? And There's not a lot of trees. The ones that we do have are the crooked ones, and they are a pain to try to get up without the Brooks. So I'm probably just going to do the Brooks. I don't know what, what you guys voted on, but I'm making an executive decision. I usually do that. That happens. So I may get the Brooks and just take them out. How much is a Brooks, by the way? Ooh, that would be under forestry. Click, 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 click. Okay, we want... Oh, crap. Which one do we want? That one. This is the one we want. This is the one that I uh, tweaked a little bit. So it'll hold, I think, 10 million. Yeah, 10 million wood chips. So we need that and that. So that's roughly 60,000. Okay, so we'll save the money that we do have in hopes of getting that. So I think next episode, I may let this guy go ahead and harvest a little bit. Go ahead and empty him here and go uh, run this up there. I may go ahead and sell the corn because the corn is at a good price at 802. We're going to go to the distillery. So catch that in the next episode, guys. All right, guys. Until then, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We will see y'all later.